Revelation by Stuart Dybeck Suppose the past could not be recalled any more than we can foretell the future, that in order to remember we'd have to visit an oracle, or a storefront gypsy reading tarot, or consult astrologers who could, so to speak, forecast history by the alignment of the stars. There'd be no photographs, but foreign grandmothers could recapture our childhoods by reading the wrinkles in tea bags. At a singles bar, some after-work seeress might take our hands and trace the lines of our palms back to our first love affairs. At such moments, the past would suddenly bloom into consciousness with a shock-like clairvoyance. What had happened would seem to loom with the mystery of what will happen, and stunned by this unwanted gift, we'd pray for the revelation to be lifted. For such visions become blinding. Citizens of the shattered ordinary order would find themselves struggling to survive, strung out somewhere between amnesia and a paralyzing nostalgia, while those most gifted with the second sight of memory would wander, honored, feared, and reviled, as prophets wander through our present world. <laughs>